Hey there, everybody. Uh, Jim here. Um, today, I had a day off, so I decided to, uh, I was going to drive down to my favorite hard off I like to go to and uh, maybe pick up some games, but this is really more of a filming thing. Uh, <laughs> there's cops right here, so I, yeah, I didn't want them to see me filming. Anyway, um, I hadn't done like an out and about filming type vid uh, in a while. So I thought it was high time I did one. So uh, this is some just some footage uh, from my uh, local area here. You can see all the lanterns lining the street. That's because now is about the time that um, summer festivals are kind of in full swing. So uh, I'm just uh, out for a, a cruise here, and I thought it might be nice to uh, uh, film a bit of footage on my way to, there's the Denny's, hello Denny's, um, on my way uh, to the hard off. Um, I, don't, I think I don't do enough of these, um, just filming around town and around the city in general. I think I'm actually going to start doing a lot more stuff like this, a little view out the window here, um, but yeah, so actually I think I'm going to do more filming in the city and uh, a lot more on location stuff. I've been so preoccupied with um, doing reviews and then whenever possible doing the podcast with my my good buddy the Sega Stoner that I haven't been uh, taking the camera out with me as much anymore um, so on this particular day which was today actually July 23rd I went to go do some shopping at Hard Off um, which there it is uh, there's my favorite Hard Off it's Off House that's kinda like my bread and butter my main place to go. They have the most stuff. Um, I've picked up huge amounts of uh, games here. I've picked up a lot of consoles here. Um, that Victor Saturn I got recently, I picked it up from there. So lots of good stuff here. Um, so I actually was met with kind of a surprise uh, when I came here today and that's going to be coming up in a minute. And I'm sorry my windshield is so dirty. I parked under a tree when it was raining. It's not bird shit, actually. It's sap on my windshield. And I just haven't uh, cleaned it off yet. But anyway, here I am. I'm at Hard Off. And I'm uh, going to get down, go inside, and uh, get some games. Or at least that's what I think. But uh, here we have a sign that uh, is politely telling me that today... July 23rd is the day that they chose to uh, kind of uh, fix up the second floor and move some things around. That's the floor with all the stuff. So that hard off was out, but I didn't give up. There was a hobby off down the street. There's always another hard off. So I just uh, drove down the street and decided to do some filming here instead and do a little shopping. So this is actually hobby off. So um, let's see, here I am uh, in the... This section has basically most of the uh, consoles they have. There's some 3DOs. They're selling those for about 30 bucks. Some Game Cubes there. Um, I don't recall how much they were selling those for. Uh, this Dreamcast. It's a little bit uh, yellow, but they're selling that for about $30. Some uh, PS1s. There's some Dead or Alive Xbox, which is super expensive. That's why I didn't even bother looking at it. This N64, about forty dollars. Usually, though, they'll, they'll round down to the nearest thousand on those. Uh, these Playstations are about twenty bucks or so. Here's a boxed Dreamcast, selling for about thirty-one dollars. A boxed Saturn, that one's actually going for ten bucks. Um, I would assume there's something wrong with it. There's other stuff here. A lot of light guns. There's some arcade sticks plug-and-plays, peripherals, that kind of thing. Uh, here's a whole lot of PlayStation games. Um, let's see, I know I'm sifting through all this stuff. Uh, there's a Star Gladiator for $3. That's a really good uh, Capcom 3D fighter. Actually, Star Gladiator. Um, this section's actually really convenient. They got it split up into fighting games, puzzle games, all that. Street Fighter Collection for 8 bucks. Not bad. Um, so it's split up into genre, so you can easily find what you're looking for. Tekken 2, $3, not bad. 
I don't know why I put it <laughs> over there. It doesn't really matter. I, they're not really in like alphabetical order. Um, let's see. I'm uh, Tales of Eternia, good game, ten bucks. I'm just I'm commenting on this afterwards, so I don't really remember what I filmed. Tales of Destiny, ten bucks. Also a really great game. That was my first Tales game. Um, Final Fantasy VII, complete with a spine card and everything for five dollars. I actually ended up buying this. This was the only purchase I made today um, just because it the case everything was cleaner than my, the copy I already own and the copy I have didn't have a spine card with it so I ended up getting that uh, some good stuff over here there's a uh, the re-release of Dragon Quest 4 Dragon Quest 7 Biohazard over there Final Fantasy 2 8 another 7 9 so all kinds of really good stuff here uh, Mega Man Legends right there, aka Rockman Dash. Um, lots of good stuff. I'm actually trying to film incognito here, that's why the angles are a little funny sometimes. There's Persona 2, really good game. And, uh, the first Persona for like five bucks, also a really good game. Um, oh, Star Ocean Second Story, I really like that game a lot too. That's, uh, three bucks there. And, uh, oh, um, Samurai Deeper Kyo going for $22. That's what I'm saying. Uh, the prices at Hard Off aren't always reasonable. $22 bucks for a PlayStation game. Um, whatever. Here's some, uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color stuff. Some GBA stuff. Um, lots of good stuff. But I moved on from there because that's, you know, too close to the register. And I don't want to be bothered by the employees. Here's some PS2 stuff. This, I didn't know what the hell it was. It's just got chicks all over it. Um, there's some pretty good stuff in there. Metal Gear Solid I saw, some other things. Um, and again they're broken down by genre, which is cool. Um, Kingdom Hearts, uh, the final mix for 16 bucks or so is pretty cool. It actually has a couple of games in it. I think Chain of Memories is in there and some other stuff. Uh, MGS there. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for about uh, $21. Um, some other things. King of Fighters, Yakuza. Lots of good PS2 stuff there. So it's always good to go and sift through and see if they got new stuff. Some N64 stuff. This uh, Pokemon Stadium game. Um, I actually gave away when I did my contest. Um, uh, oh boy. F Zero X. Fantastic game. They're selling it for like five bucks, boxed and complete. So for the most part, as you can see, hard offs are not just reasonable; they're like they're cheap. You can find most games for really cheap. But as I showed you earlier, some of the games, when they know what they have, they'll put a high price on it. Uh, KOF 99 for three bucks. You know I like that. Uh, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, five bucks. I really like that game. Street Fighter 3, I, I feel, is the really underappreciated Street Fighter series. Um, lots of Saturn stuff, as you can see by all that pink. Lots of Sakura Wars. Uh, here's some Super Famicom stuff. And I believe right here, here's another example. Uh, Justice League Task Force uh, for 22 bucks, And it's been 22 I, Every time I've gone there for the past few years, it's been there. And they haven't reduced the price. Come on, if it's not selling, reduce the price. It's better to make a little bit less money than to make no money because no one's going to buy it. Anyway, here's lots of loose uh, stuff. Um, Mario 3 on Famicom, like 12 bucks. So this is where they have a lot of their, uh, well, all of their uh, wrapped up Famicom stuff. Dragon Quest 2, pretty good looking for uh, 6 bucks. So, uh, and there's uh, DQ4, also for 6 bucks. So this is where they'll have their Famicom, loose Super Famicom stuff. I'm just kind of perusing right here. I didn't actually intend on buying much today just because I'm a little strapped for cash with my car. But I did want to get out and film a copy of Rockman 3. It's loose. And what is that? Like, what is that? I don't know. I didn't see. It was probably like 10 bucks or something. 10 bucks for a loose Rockman 3. Um... So, yeah, there's a bunch of Famicom games, and, uh, okay, here we go. Uh, these are the bargain bins. Now, when you go to the bargain bins, everything you see, pretty much, is 
uh, 100 yen or a dollar. So, it's most of it's going to be loose cards. If it is box, you can count on the box being pretty ratty. Um, but this is a place where you can go, and if you have the time, you can just dig, dig through the games, and you might find. I've found plenty of uh, games that I would call, if not gems, at least really good games for a dollar. Um, I found, you know, Xeno Gears for a dollar in one of these bargain bins. There's a Tekken 3 arcade stick for five bucks. They also have a bunch of that stuff back here, big box stuff that they couldn't fit elsewhere. Um, so I found like DuckTales in one of these bins for three dollars. So, I mean, if you hunt, you can find stuff for cheap. It's kind of where they just, when they're overstocked, they just kind of throw stuff in there and sell it for next to nothing. Um, here's a copy of uh, Shin Mu that actually comes with uh, a Shin Mu jukebox, and they're selling that for a dollar. So, that's pretty amazing. Um, House of the Dead 2, one dollar. Ready to Rumble, one dollar. Um, Whatever the hell that stuff is. And here's a copy of Power Stone, also for a dollar. So if you hunt and dig in these bargain bins, you can find uh, good deals. Code Veronica for one dollar. Um, uh, I'll also find, you know, Street Fighter Zero Two and all kinds of other stuff for a dollar. There's uh, also a lot of box peripherals up there. Um, a lot of uh, just decks, Super Famicom decks. Uh, Sega Saturns, 64s, PS1s, Dreamcasts, and a whole bunch of GameCubes. Usually when they sell them like that, just the deck, they'll usually sell it for like five bucks or so. Here's a Famicom that's so yellowed it's orange. So, and some disc systems. So yeah, usually they'll sell these uh, loose decks for like five bucks. You can take a moment, spruce them up. Uh, also in Hobby Offs. Always some really cool uh, toys. Um, I just filmed this case in particular because of this uh, down here. It's shit. Um, it's an Akira figure. It's the bike and it's Kaneda. They're selling it for like 80 bucks, so I couldn't afford it. But um, I really wanted it. Uh, so lots of cool toys at Hobby Offs. Also lots of awesome automatic weapons at a uh, hobby offs um actually these are all like airsoft guns or what have you but they do look extremely realistic um kind of surprising and after i left a uh, hobby off i went here this is a little flea market that i like to go to i find stuff here sometimes so i went looking in here again this is actually the flea market where i found uh, my Bandai Pladia system for uh, 10 bucks. So, um, and there's games. So, sometimes I've found stuff in here. You know, I found Yu Yu Hockey Show in there for like a couple of bucks. So, I went in there to go have a little hunt around and I got lost. Those are the CDs. Um, so, here are some games. Uh, let's see. I'm just perusing at this point. Some baseball game on Famicom. A, uh, a Game Boy Color for a few bucks with a uh, and it had a game in it so um, did not pick that up there was a game in here somewhere I was gonna get but it ended up ended up not because it seemed kinda jacked up um, but as you can see they got uh, Famicom stuff this game right here in my hand is actually a game for the MSX2 um, I've never owned an MSX before. Um, they're selling it for like ten, this game for ten bucks. Um, I wouldn't mind having an MSX someday. Um, here's like their little box of Famicom games um, with the lone N64 game in it. Uh, they had a more so a lot of PlayStation and Saturn games, so I was kind of hunting through that. Uh, a few Mega Drive games. Uh, nothing I was interested in. Uh, some Seaman. Because who doesn't like Seaman for, uh, you know, three bucks? Intelligent Cube. See, this would. I was going to get this Vib Ribbon. I do not have a copy of Vib Ribbon, and I was going to get this. Um, I actually set it down to get it, uh, and then later it, I could hear the disc just rattling around in it. It sounded so bad. So I actually decided to pass on Vib Ribbon. Uh, even though 
I definitely wanted it. Um, and then here's some other obscure stuff that I have no idea what the hell it is. Uh, real bout on the Saturn. That's pretty cool. I think that's, I think that's Chocobo's dungeon. I'm not sure. Um, Biohazard on Saturn. That's actually a good port of uh, Biohazard. Uh, some random Famicom game. Um, so yeah, I didn't really find anything there today. I think if I would have gone with the intention of buying stuff, I could have taken some of these games with me. Um, just because they were so cheap. Uh, but actually, I was being kind of a penny pincher today. Um, an RF adapter for Famicom and Super Famicom. Um, which is totally useless to me. Uh, Super Famicom games. Nice little box there. They have a Saturn uh, deck that they're selling. Which I don't buy stuff deck only. And I don't buy things, uh, Mortal Kombat, right on. I don't buy things that you would need to repair just because I'm not, like, I'm not savvy at that at all, so. Uh, Batman Returns, great game, for $250. Um, if I didn't already have it, I would have bought it then and there. Um, so yeah, like I said, I was really happy to find Viv Ribbon. I have wanted that game for a while and hadn't seen it, uh, around yet. And it was rattling in there like uh, like dice in a cup, so I was like, nah, better pass. Don't want to buy it, and it'd just be all scratched up and broken. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I didn't really find anything in that flea market today, but there's always next time. And uh, this is, uh, I'm driving home, so here's another last little quick look at my local area. Um, to conclude this video, I would like to uh, go ahead and thank uh, everybody. I'm at like... 1700 subscribers give or take right now and about a hundred thousand views so thank you everybody for uh, watching um, I do get a lot of you know comments and stuff and I appreciate that too um, and like I said I do intend to do uh, plenty more uh, videos just out and about in addition to the reviews and things like that so everybody um, yeah really again just thank you for watching subscribing liking, commenting, all the cool stuff you do. Um, I, I really don't know what else to say. Just, yeah, here's my town. Everybody, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, take it easy. I shall see you next time. Hey everybody, Jim here. I'm currently in Odawara in Kanagawa Prefecture because I am under the understanding that there is a hobby off in this general vicinity, kind of in a shopping center. So that's what I'm looking for. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they have or don't have, don't even know if they have video games. I'm told it's just a hobby off, so we'll find out. Um, so stick around. Okay, should be right around here. Somewhere. Bingo. It's like they have a Seiyu, an ABC Mart, and yes, indeed. Mode off and hobby off. Second floor.
All right, let's uh, get to the second floor of this building and see what they got. inside this little hobby off this first case where they have some figures and games uh, the games none of it looked really appealing to me except for a little Jojo's Bizarre Adventure set that you see right there uh, Mega Drive uh, pretty reasonably priced Mega Drive and a Saturn with a 3D controller that's pretty cool and then some miscellaneous wires and things and then we get into some actual games Biohazard Chronicles Value Pack. That's nice. Some Mario Party. Some Zelda Hyrule Warriors. Um, some Wii stuff down there. I guess a Wii itself. And uh, Peripherals Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3. That's super cool. And a whole mess of DS. Dragon Quest 6 on the DS. That's an excellent port of that game. I highly recommend it. The newly released Dragon Quest VIII on 3DS. Dragon Quest VIII is probably my favorite in the series. Very cool. And more stuff down there. Uh, not necessarily systems. I don't know what the hell all that was. Uh, here, more games. Yay. Uh, PlayStation 3. You can see we got some uh, Gundam games right here. Quite a lot of Gundam games released in Japan that weren't released elsewhere. The uh, Biohazard HD Re release of the remake, some Hatsune Miku for you, Blaze Blue, an excellent series, one of my uh, more uh, more light <laughs> fighting series. Anything by Arc System Works is good. Uh, you can see they got a bunch of anime and stuff on DVD there. They also have a PlayStation, an original PlayStation for sale right there, and uh, yeah, a bit more anime and all that. And then you get into their uh, PS2 section, which is it was kind of slim, but there was some pretty cool stuff in there. Um, here we have uh, this Bleach. Uh, I have quite a lot of Bleach games. Bleach fans, if I, are there are any Bleach fans in my audience, you want to see some Bleach games get reviewed, let me know, because I can make it happen. Um, and then down here, the PlayStation section, I did find something I was very happy about right here. Air Guys, God bless the ring, for less than a dollar. Uh, really cool uh, 3D fighting game with some Final Fantasy 7 characters in there. I set that aside because I did pick that baby up. Legend of Dragoon, also for less than a dollar. So I know a lot of people are big fans of that game, so you could pick it up on the cheap if you were here. Dungeon Creator. Looks pretty interesting. And Brave Fencer Musashiden. Or Brave Pinsu Musashi. Great game. They're selling it for less than $2. And you can see here just a few Dreamcast and Saturn games. Um, very slim pickings. Uh, Fighters Mega Mix. Cool game. Uh, slim pickings in the games here, kind of, because um, it's more so a hobby off that's dedicated to figures and things, which you will see come out soon. Uh, here we have some fighting games. Rumblefish by Sega. That's actually a pretty fun 2D fighter. Uh, wrestling right there. Uh, something or other reborn. Don't ask me. And Samurai Spirits right here. I ended up uh, picking that up as well. Because I'm a big fan of the Samurai Spirits 
aka Samurai Showdown series. And uh, what else we got here? Yeah, so not like a huge selection of games, but some pretty cool stuff in there. Up here, you can see a whole lot of these uh, visual novel drama type games. Uh, again, they're labeled with their little you know end cards there that say action or whatnot. And then some PSP stuff and uh, PS4 and Vita and all that kind of good stuff. You can see lots of things here, including Puyo Puyo, which is cool. But that's more or less it for the video games. Everything else in here is figures, and they did have a lot of really cool figures. You can see here some Attack on Titan figures, which I've recently become kind of a fan of after seeing the movie, which I like very much. There's a pretty cool bust of Eren, or Eren, or Ellen, however you want to pronounce it, uh, after he turns into this giant Titan form, which is pretty cool. And then this aisle, it's like all Bishoujo figures as you can see just lots and lots of girls with dresses and in you know striking poses and all that kind of stuff and here are some Evangelion figures which are cool I do like Evangelion a very cool classic series of anime uh, extremely popular in Japan and more girl things girls in swimsuits um, this little maid who fell over or something I don't know some little Hatsune Miku figures and more Hatsune Miku figures and more Hatsune Miku figures um, and then like tiny little like gachapon figures these this section I always like this section in uh, a hobby off because you know gachapon they you know, there's some cool stuff in some Gadgetpon machines, some Dragon Ball Z stuff right there. Those look pretty cool. Um, but it's frustrating not getting the one you want. So it's nice to just be able to pick them off the racks. And here's some more Dragon Ball stuff. Here we have some Fist of the North Star, Kenshiro Deluxe with nunchucks and everything, Kinikuman, and uh, some cool Dragon Ball stuff, which I've always been a big Dragon Ball fan, and I am to this day. And more, more, more. Uh, what the hell am I looking at here? It's so glossy. Why are you so glossy? One Piece stuff and some Saint Seiya. I know uh, some people out there watch this channel love some Saint Seiya. Got some Star Wars. Uh, there was a heavy metal figure back there, which I'm only noticing it now as I'm watching this video. I should have looked at that. Uh, and here, what do we got? Power Rangers or Sentai, whatever you want to call it. Uh, lots of Sentai stuff. I want that pirate sword. I should have got that pirate sword. I was a fool. I left it. Um, but some uh, very cool Super Sentai. Uh, and then some Kamen Rider stuff. And by the way, if you haven't seen the Super Sentai movie where they combine like all the generations, it's like 199 different Sentai uh, joining forces, you got to watch it. That's off topic. That has nothing to do with this video. Uh, here, just like the uh, last one, uh, lots of Gundam model kits. Very cool. If you're a model kit enthusiast, you would uh, be very happy inside of a hard off. I guarantee it. You'd find all the model kits you could handle. And then just lots and lots of Gundam stuff in general up here. Which is cool because I also really like Gundam. I just, you know, don't really have the time and or energy to put together model kits. There's Mecha Godzilla. Looking super cool. I also like Godzilla. I have quite a number of uh, Godzilla games as well. Maybe I'll touch on those eventually. And right here, all the blue. Oh my god, so much Hatsune Miku. And uh, a couple of other little Vocaloid characters. Uh, I'm not exactly nuts about Hatsune Miku myself, but I know quite a number of people who are. Uh, what have we got here? Lots, uh, Some Evangelion, some giant hooters girl figures um, again lots more of these like be shoujo figures cool stuff down here though some uh, looks like Todd McFarlane spawn figures which are cool I used to have uh, quite a few of those actually I was a big fan of spawn when I was a kid I used to collect the comics and watch the animated series and more girl figures things and uh, here Rin and Sonic <laughs> and a totally inappropriate relationship. Uh, but that's it for the most part. 
all these figures in a few games. So uh, that's this hobby off. So check it out. All right, so that's it. Um, wasn't exactly like teaming with games. Uh, it was a hobby off, but. Um, what it lacked in games, it made up for with cool figures. There were like tons of model kits and all kinds of other cool little things in there that, uh, again, if I was collecting figures, I probably would have picked up a few things in there because it was all really nice. But what they did have was uh, pretty cool. I actually ended up walking out with a, a few games anyway, and uh, I'm happy with it. So that's it, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Please join me again next time. Take care, everybody. perceives all things conjoined, the past, the future, and the present. Everything flows, and all is connected. This eye is not merely seeing reality. Hey everybody, Jim here, and uh, today I am in the neighborhood of Musashi Kogane because uh, I'm gonna go to a hard-off today. Um, I've actually been to this hard-off, but it was, I would say, two to three years ago, and uh, it was really awesome, but I haven't been back since. And uh, so I thought today I would come back to this lovely neighborhood and uh, check out this hard-off once again, see if, uh, you know, what do they have this time? It's been years, so I don't know. Maybe it's better off than it was before. Maybe I can find a mountain of games. Maybe I can find some decent prices. Who knows? But um, it is a roughly 20 minute walk from the station. And uh, it's warm, warm outside today. So I have got some walking to do. I've got some water with me and uh, I'm ready. I'm ready for this, uh, it's not a long walk, it's 20 minutes, it's not like a big deal, but I'm ready for this nice leisurely stroll to the hard off, where hopefully I can get a game or two. So stick around, because I will be there eventually. Gunhead will be released on July 7th.
we are coming up on it. I can see it off in the distance. And it was about a 20 minute walk on a nice warm day. So, uh, yeah, I'm ready to get inside of a building. Preferably one with lots of video games in it. And, oh my lucky stars, there's one right there. It's an off house and hard off combo. Uh, I like those. That usually means there's always good stuff in there. Uh, the one I used to go to all the time when I was still living in West Tokyo was uh, an off house mixed with a hard off. And it was great. It's still like my favorite hard off ever. Uh, so like I said, I have not been to this one in years. Not exactly sure what their stock is gonna be like, but uh, the hope is that it's gonna be lots and lots of games and uh, that they won't be all that expensive. And it's a wee bit windy today. You know, the last time I was here, I think I jaywalked. I'm just gonna go this way. Aha. Uh -huh. We are going to circumnavigate the cross light. Go, lady in white van, go. You're standing in the way of me and video games. Okay. All right. Hard off. Awesome. Let's get inside. Let's see what they got. ドラキュラ伝説にピリオドを打つのは君だ。コナミから追に登場。ファミコンディスクシステム用ソフト悪魔城ドラキュラ好評発売中。コナミ。Alright, getting started once again in this lovely, lovely heart off. The off house is on the first floor, and so off house is a bunch of household stuff, which I don't necessarily need, because I don't live in a house, I live in a tiny apartment, but hard off is as hard off does, so uh, just one of these glass cases as usual, there's some Mega Drive in there, Neo Geo, there's uh, PC Engine and uh, PlayStation stuff. Just the more valuable things in there, I guess. Some nice boxed up games. Down here you can see we got Metal Gear, Rockman 3 and 4, which they had, I'm pretty sure they had copies elsewhere in the store. So I don't know why those were deemed as being case worthy. There I am. Hello, me. And uh, other stuff. Some uh, particularly nice handhelds and controllers and things but we swing around to consoles yay uh, these Dreamcasts are being sold for uh, well that one's 4,000 yen 7,000 
Uh, the, they vary on prices depending on how complete they are. Um, so it might be better for some of these to buy them, you know, buy the, the deck here and then maybe go look elsewhere for a controller or something. That might be cheaper. There's 7,000 yen or so for a boxed Saturn. That's a little, a little exaggerated, I think. And, uh... Over 6,000 for the, actually for the, the uh, top-loading NES model Famicom, 6,000 is actually kind of okay. 8,000 is a little, a little bit rich. We have some Famicoms. Again, the prices are like, they're ranging from like 20 bucks to 40, 50 bucks, just depending on how complete it is. Because honestly, you know, you get a Famicom, and then you got to go through the trouble of buying cords and stuff too. Come on. Just give, cut me a deal here, if I gotta do all the legwork. And now into some games. So their Wii section, not exactly bursting at the seams, uh, but we do get some Switch games. Uh, so for all of you Switch players and collectors, uh, there's Switch games now at hard-offs and book-offs. They're being sold at reduced prices. So have a look. Go check it out. I know they have online stores and things like that. As we take a look at some DS and 3DS, I don't actually collect for any of these uh, any of these systems, so I'm just sort of looking for uh, dexterity's sake. But there's Project X Zone, Nino Kuni, some other cool things. Uh, I do have a DS. It's just it's been a, a million years since I've gotten a new game for it. But uh, yeah, have a look around. This is the stuff. That is um, pretty pretty affordable to collect for now. You see Starfy, it's about three bucks. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, this Dragon Ball game, pretty cool. Being sold for a thousand yen. That's like, with exchange rate right now, that's like nine dollars. So if you collect for those things, uh, it's a, or if you don't collect for them, it's a good idea too. As we take a look in this, um, this case here. With again, some more uh, particularly... Not, well, that's like 20 bucks for that Rockman X4. That's not that valuable. But there's some Neo Geo CD, Famicom, Pepsi Man, although I couldn't get the, uh, couldn't see the price on that. Spawn. Box stuff. Uh, these are all, I think, big box PC games. Which, uh, I've never really been a PC gamer. I, I've played and really enjoyed, uh, like a handful of PC games, but it's never been my forte. And they even have this little tiny selection of Xbox 360, some GameCube games, including Kirby's Air Ride, which is, it's like an expensive game right now, I don't know what what's the deal. And some Idol Master, and then uh, this, they accidentally mixed in with the uh, GBA games, but it's East on the Famicom, which is a pretty cool version of that game. Uh, but yes, handheld stuff, there's loose Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. Some, there's Mario's and Kunio Kuns and Ranma One Half and all kinds of good stuff. Cyborg 009, Thunder Spirits, Rockman and Forte. So a lot of loose carts in here as well. And more complete games like Toy Story, uh, for some odd reason. Rockman and Forte. Incredible Crash Dummies. And some Famicom. Like uh, Ike Ike, Niketsu, Hockey Boo is great. Valis, there's Knight Rider, Double Dragon 3, and uh, loose Hue card games, which I do not collect. I don't collect anything loose for the PC Engine. No way, no how. But uh, pretty cool uh, stuff in that uh, first aisle. As we take a look at more consoles, we got boxed Famicoms here for cheap. They're like 40 bucks. Uh, a, a 64 with a bunch of controllers, some boxed Super Famicoms, those are like 50 bucks. I mean, I say that, but it's it's lower because the exchange rate is lower. It's like mm, ten per take ten percent off of everything basically. As we look at some PS One goodness, they got all kinds of stuff. They got your Final Fantasies. They got your Personas and your your Chocobos, Tekkens, Mega Mans, um, Parappa the Rapper. You know all the classics. They're gonna have uh, in abundance. So, a uh, uh, copy of Final Fantasy VII right now, going for 300 yen, that's like, that's under three bucks. It's like 270 or something. Uh, Street Fighter EX2, or is it EX2 Plus or EX Plus 2? Either way, 
Uh, pretty cool game. We got uh, the original Rival Schools. That's 500 yen. A uh, thousand for the uh, the update. And uh, Vampire Hunter D. That's 500 yen. Initial D is 500 yen. And Vampire Savior EX is a thousand yen. So this stuff is all uh, priced right. It's all priced really well. We got some games for Windows, including Street Fighter 4. And others. And what else we got? Uh, some 3DO here. Rebel Assault. A few other games. Uh, I do not collect for the 3DO anymore, really. Actually, I should probably look at unloading all my 3DO games. PC Engine game. What are you doing over there? You belong over here with your PC Engine compatriots. Um, Dreamcast, slim pickings, but you know, Shinmu. I believe they had like a Sakura Wars game and Tokyo Extreme Racer. They had a few games, but you know, when you already have them, I don't know. And uh, Fantasy Zone for the PC Engine. This is what irks me. You know, Saturn, Dreamcast, PC Engine. These are like my favorite consoles to collect for right now. And it's always slim pickings everywhere I go. This Kabuki Din being sold for 600 yen. That's that's nice. It's like five bucks, and this intrigued me. The mini skirt police. Do they are are they mini skirt police because they wear the mini skirts, or do they police people who wear mini skirts? I don't know. Maybe I should have bought it and <laughs> should have tried to find out. Uh, but they have a you know handful of Saturn games here. They have some Christmas nights. They had some Lunar. Um, so I mean Puyo Puyo Two. You can't go wrong with for five hundred yen. So, I mean, they have some good games for these consoles. Uh, what is it? Slayers. It's just that, I don't know. When you're, I'm at that point where, like, I kind of only, they're only, like, certain, like, essentials that I want. And uh, it's hard to find them. As we look at some N64 games. So I'm actually in the process of unloading my N64 collection as well. But we got some Smash Brothers. We got uh, Yoshi's Island. We have this... Uh, box set with controller with for Mario Kart. That's like, what's that like? They're selling that for like, uh, it looked like it was $12.99. Uh, so that's pretty good. But Pilot Wings, I mean, they had some box games, lots of loose carts. And uh, Street Fighter 2, what's that going for these days? 500 yen. Complete and in really good condition. Um, so, like, uh, stuff here that, like, if I was just starting a collection for these consoles, uh, I would be picking up some of this stuff. I mean, there's even games here. I've done my my buying guides, and uh, some of the games they have here on the shelf are stuff that I've recommended for my buying guides uh, because, you know, they're good games, and they're English-friendly, and they are super cheap uh, as we continue to browse. Um, they had uh, Bonk 2, but it's like the cartridge is loose inside the box. There's no plastic protector, so I passed on it. Because uh, it was like 20 bucks. And Yu Yu Hakusho 2. Good fighting game. I've recommended before. It's 300 yen for a complete copy of that game. Very affordable and very fun. Also, Tetris Battle Gaiden. You can pick up for... That's like 1500 yen. That's like 13 bucks. And uh, so... Yeah. Uh, great games. Good prices. As we look at these Super Famicom games. They've got... Twinby and, and Yoshi stuff and Kirby Area 88 for something like 12, 13 bucks. Rockman X for a thousand. Tetris Battle Guy Din Loose is 500 yen. That's less than five dollars for what is probably the best puzzle game on the console. Uh, lots of loose Famicom carts, some essentials, and some not so essential games as we. Browse around. That Mickey and Minnie game is actually kind of fun. Akira for 800 yen. Mario 3. Such good stuff. Uh, again, ha Niketsu Hakibu. Superman. Lots and lots of value to be had. And boxed stuff as well, which I left with a couple of these. US Championship V-Ball, which I think is called Super Spike. It's the one with Billy and Jimmy Lee in it. I think that's Super Spike V-Ball, or Volleyball, on the NES. And Super Star Force by Tecmo. I have the first Star Force. Great classic shoot-em-up. 
and Tecmo. You can't go wrong. Tecmo is still an awesome company to this day. And they got this very nice copy of Final Fantasy 2. 300 yen. Yes, very affordable games here. Oh, what else do we have? Yoshi, I like that. Kirby, I like that too. Both of these games, Kirby for 800 yen, Yoshi for 500. They're practically giving the stuff away, people. Those are some good deals. As we look to the other side of this aisle, and we are confronted by a wall of PS2, MVC2, and a bunch of other good stuff. Uh, PS2, Hyper Street Fighter 2. Awesome. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm really collecting for PS2 anymore. I think I have quite enough. I can't even really fit it all on the shelves. Maybe I should pare it down and start coming back to places like this. But they got the Onimusha games and, and Wild Arms. Kingdom Hearts are like super cheap. They're 300 yen a piece. Which is, is pittance. 300 yen for Dragon Ball Z Sparking. 300 yen for Tekken 5. It's like my favorite Tekken game. So, uh, another console, PS2. Barring some, like, particularly, like, rare or um, expensive PS2 games, most PS2 games are, like, super cheap. They're five bucks or under at any hard-off or book-off. Um, so, good good console to collect for now. This Cyvarier special box. That's a little rich. Astro Boy... Going for 800 yen. So, like, the PS2, PS3, PSP, Onimusha, 300 yen. There you go. Onimusha 2 is also, like, 300 yen. So, the PS2, PS3, PSP, and, uh, I think to a lesser extent, the Vita. I mean, all of this stuff is, uh, extremely affordable. So, if you're a game collector and you're finding stuff like the Saturn and PC Engine and all that is just getting way too expensive... Look to these these uh, PlayStation uh, games. Biohazard Anniversary Package being sold for 2,800 yen. I can recall a time when that bad boy was being sold for like 80 bucks brand new. And now you can get it for like 20 bucks. What a deal. As we take a look at more PS3 games. So there's just lots and lots of stuff. I mean, you can you can see there's the uh, the uh, Yakuza games, Ryu ga Gotoku. They're all like three bucks a piece. Um, we got some PS4 games already. You can buy Judge Eyes. Uh, that's like you know uh, Kunio Kunio Kun the World. All this stuff is like ten to twenty percent cheaper because it's used, except for JoJo for some reason. That's a game that's going up in value. But all this stuff is ten to twenty percent cheaper because it's used. But it's all like in immaculate condition. As we have a look at this, was this Senran Kagura? What a beautiful decorative box that is. And um, that's it for this aisle. And uh, what a great aisle. Just, I mean, games for a variety of consoles. Uh, as we're in the junk bins now, people. Uh, it's been so long since I've perused a junk bin. Um, we're looking at these PS1 games. I mean, these are 100 yen. That's, unless they're marked otherwise, it's like 90 cents a game. So they're in the junk bins, like this Power Stone has no manual. But it's it's 90 cents for a copy of Power Stone. Um, this Capcom Mahjong game, whatever the hell that is. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Legends, again, no manual, but it's, it's 90 cents. I mean, again, they're practically giving it away. It's just overstock, and, uh, you know, the games, they might be kind of scratched or like that, missing a manual or something, but uh, they're uh, insanely cheap. As we got some Saint Seiya and uh, classic baseball, all kinds of stuff. So like this is, these bins you can spend like all day digging through because it's just, everything is super cheap and you can find them and maybe you can like the carts, you can clean up the carts. They're super Puyo Puyo for a hundred yen. So like you can, you can clean up the carts um, these consoles up here that are junk consoles, there might be something wrong with them. If you're nifty with repairs, you can go and buy a console for like 20 bucks, patch it up real quick, and then you're good to go. All of these PS2 games, I mean, here you go, 100 yen. For a game that was over on the shelf was like, you know, 300 yen. But in the bin, they're unmarked, they're 100 yen, that's, that's 90 cents. Or you can pay 10 bucks for a Famicom, do some work on it. These busted twin Famicoms, one's like 30 bucks, the other one's like 50. 
Um, I mean, who knows what's wrong with them? It could be something that's a quick fix. It could be a, a, a belt, you know, whatever. Pay 20 bucks, get a busted twin Famicom, spend 10 bucks on the stuff you need to fix it, and then you're golden. So this is uh, really great for fix-it people anyway. All the rest of this stuff is like vinyl records, CDs. There's some, you know, game peripherals, things like that. And uh, this, I, <laughs> I saw it out of the corner of my eye. It's, it's just a DJ thing. I was almost like, is that a Wonder Mega? Oh, no, it's a DJ peripheral thing. Whatever. Um, but yeah, the junk bins can be a whole lot of fun to dig through if you got the time. And I do, but I don't think you guys want to watch me dig through these for an hour. Or maybe I'll just buy a cello. Screw it. Be a cellist. Forget all this video game stuff. Guitars. All this great stuff. Anyway, uh, that's it for the inside of this hard off. Pretty good one. Let's take it outside. Okay. That was fun. Nice that they still have uh, plenty of games and stuff. And I guess I can come over here. Uh, I only bought two games today. Uh, Super Star Force by Tecmo. Uh, that was only a thousand yen, so it's like nine dollars. And, oh, there goes my bag. Uh, I picked up a copy of US Championship V-Ball, also for about nine bucks. And uh, that's it. So I'm gonna go home and play my shooter, and play my Technos Japan volleyball game, and uh, be a happy boy. So that was a successful little trip. Picked up a couple of games, and uh, I I think, you know, if, because I've been thinking about getting into like the game selling racket that uh, some of these dudes out here got going on. And uh, a place like this would be good for that because their prices were pretty good. So I could buy really low and then still sell for like, really low like you know a game that's worth maybe like 10 bucks or so i could pick it up for three maybe sell it for like five or six get like a nice tidy profit and still be able to give someone a pretty decent deal so if i do i don't know if I ever start doing that in the future i mean you know money wise you never know you never can tell uh but yeah places like this this is the place to go bread and butter Oh, if I was back in the States, I'd be I'd probably go to like conventions and stuff and just set up a little table. Sell, sell, sell. Uh, but not for now though. For now it's buy, buy, buy. Uh, not the in sync version. The hard off version. Uh, anyway, I hope everybody uh, enjoyed hanging out with me today in uh, Musashi Kogane, going to hard off, getting some games, and uh, Getting some exercise today. A nice uh, 20 minute walk there, 20 minute walk back. It's about, I don't know what the, I think it's like 28, 29 Celsius right now. So, decently warm. I feel like uh, I've got my exercise in today. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, yada, 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 all that YouTube stuff. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, by all means, please do. And if you are subscribed, thank you. So stick around, because I'm going to be doing a lot more hard off stuff. Uh, I've got the bug again, I guess. So thanks, everybody. Take care. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.